This is probably the easiest way to create intros for your videos. Let's go. What's good creators and welcome back to Monzo on Media where we talk about the production side of content creation without breaking the bank. Now last week I showed you an online video editor called InVideo. And today I'm going to run through an easy way to create intros for your videos. So head on over to InVideo.io and select YouTube landscape here just under the search bar. We're going to go ahead and look under categories brand intro. What we're going to do is start off with a template and tweak it as we go. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click on use template and let it load. So the first thing I want to touch base on is the timeline below here. This is where you would import your clips and add clips and other elements to your project. Since we're just working on an intro at this point, there really is not much to do on the timeline at this point. But if you look on the right here and click on advanced timeline, it will show you all the elements that this template has. So we have our logo here, as you see, it's highlighted now. The text will be highlighted as I select it. The revealer is the animation effect. Now to unlock these that are grayed out, you just have to hover over the lock icon here, click on it and it will unlock. One of the first things I'm going to do is reposition my logo up here and bring this text uh, more towards the center. So on the right here is your layers palette. And what you want to do is whatever you're working on, whether it's the logo, the text, the background, you will see your edit options change here. So I'm going to click on the text and now it enables me to change the text here, which I will do right now. So I'm going to delete that and put in text of my choice. Now, once I click on style, it'll allow me to change the, the fonts. So I'm going to use dry brush and as well as the size, I'm going to increase that to about a hundred and um, stretch this box out. And I'm going to recenter it. The other thing I want to do is change this background color. So again, make sure you highlight the background. You're going to see at the bottom here on the layers, change project colors. Now the template one is the original colors it comes with. Then you have your brand options or you can customize it, which I'm going to do here. And now I want to preview how this looks. I kind of don't want this blue background in a, anymore. So what I'm going to do is change. Uh, first, I'm going to change the background of the project. So I'm going to go back to layers, click on background here or highlight it, click on edit, change project colors. And I'm going to make that background black again. Instead, what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to switch this back to basic timeline for now. I'm going to put an effect into the project. So on the left here, you have various options, your media, your music, text, stickers, effects, shapes, enhancers, and upload. Heading over to effects, I want sort of like these light leak uh, effect here. I'm going to choose a light leak effect that I like and simply all you do is click onto it and it's going to add it to the scene. Now, the one thing you want to be aware of is that when you add it onto the scene, it's going to add it to the top. 
but I don't want that. I want it to be behind, so I'm gonna grab it here. It's, it's called overlay, and I'm gonna put it over the slanted shape element. When I preview this, you will see the background is no longer black. It has that light leak effect on it now. Now the other thing I want to do is give the text some animations. I'm gonna select the text and as you can see here on the right, it gives me some options. I'm gonna click on animation here. So the way it's set now, it's got the whole word to animate. Now you could change that to each individual word each character or each line if it had multiple lines. So I'm, I'm gonna choose word here. And then I'm gonna go to the drop down and change it from fading in. You have different options here from fade, shift, slide, blur, and so on. There is one that is fairly new that they just came out with. This one's called Happy Landing. <laughs> and I'm gonna click on from up, so it's going to animate from the top. And of course, I want the out animation to be similar, so I'm gonna select the same one, but to go down a post up. going to go into text and go under social media credits here and I'm going to select these social media text animations. You simply just have to click on the plus button to add them onto the scene. Now they do come up pretty big but you can always decrease the size if you'd like. Great, now let's preview this. So lastly, what I'm gonna do now is add some music to the intro. So we're gonna go back to the menu here on the left and I'm going to Click on category here and look for, I don't know, let's say something funky, because I love me some funk. Um, feels good, what does that sound like? Yeah. This one's got a James Brown kind of vibe, so I'm gonna choose that. So now if I click on play all scene, we will preview this now the last thing to do is once you complete your intro uh, you want to go to the top right here to export It's gonna load it and then start rendering your project. Now in the meantime, beside this where it says job ID, you could rename it to a file name that you'd prefer. And then when it finishes rendering, you can preview it one last time. Then you can download it here and you could even share it on your social media sites Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or grab the link just below here to post it in something like Facebook or a web page, something like that. Now again, I wanna mention how much I love this program, especially for social media videos. Whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, there's a lot of flexibility with the pre-made templates that you can tweak for your personal project. 
Once you get used to how to navigate and edit within InVideo, you could start creating things from scratch, which we will do in future videos. Now, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do and hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. I'm gonna show you ways to make animated end screens, some animated titles, and some general editing tips. Now until then, get out there, hit record, and create.